All right, everybody, hope you're doing well. Um, today's video is a pretty exciting one. It's a little bit of an update on a project I've been working on. Um, I'm gonna be combining uh, holstery with uh, gun etching and stock modification to my uh, sort of business model for my uh, little side business, Wolf King Leather. Uh, I have an update on a, a AK that I've been working on. This is a new 2019 gun that just came into the country. Uh, M plus M is importing them. They're the M10 762 DIY. It's a barreled receiver, no furniture. So what I did was I took I took some uh, old uh, surplus stuff that I had lying around and I uh, customized the uh, furniture and I engraved on the uh, receiver. And so here's where I'm at so far. There's going to be a lot more done to this. Uh, I've just given a little bit of an update. So um, I have a reverse donkey dong that I have carved a uh, wolf on both sides so it's identical on both sides so it's a wolf some decorative teeth and a uh, knot work pattern gives a little bit of texture so you can see it's the same on both sides um, on the actual receiver I have done knot work engraved two runes, the Jira rune and the Tear rune. I've engraved on the WVP Enhanced Safety Selector. Um, I can use this to, uh, it's a little bit, I gotta bend it so it's brand new. Um, you can use your index finger to push the uh, safety down and up. And then another knot work band. I put this uh, uh, disconnected triarch knot work right there as well as here on both sides of the uh, club foot stock this is a uh, PM 64 club foot it's laminate uh, the uh, do the uh, reverse dong is also laminate um, I've refurbished all of the metal components for both for the retaining spring for the front of this handguard and the uh, the butt stock uh, butt plate and uh, trap door. So everything on the uh, on the handguard and the butt stock are uh, refurbished. Sorry about the train. These guys run at all hours. Um, but I've done a knot work there and that disconnected uh, triarch right there. If you can see. I think it turned out pretty well. I'm very happy with the color. Um, and uh, I have the actual uh, gas tube cover right here. So I've done a, uh, a knot work pattern on the top of the gas tube cover. So if you can imagine, it would look something like that. I can't really tilt it up just because it's, you know, it's still uh, tacky and I don't want it to fall on the ground. So that's a uh, Polish laminate dust tube, uh, gas tube cover. So you can see it's identically carved on both sides. Um, there you will. But. Um, I'm very pleased with this. I think I'm going to take one of my surplus magazines and do knot work on the uh, magazine or like more, more of the uh, decorative teeth along here. Um, but yeah, uh, also on the front up here I'm going to be buying a Polytech spiker assembly and actually having the spiker fold to about right here, right next to the gas block. So it'll have like an SKS style swing out spiker bayonet up front. Uh, muzzle nut. I'm gonna pro I'm gonna be using that uh, spiker assembly. Has a hole for a detent for your muzzle nut. So this this uh, this little dink of a of a uh, muzzle device will have a detent. I'll probably use a uh, Tabuk style uh, flash hider because I like those. They're really neat. They're pretty Star Warsy. Uh, but yeah. So here's my. Uh, it's gonna be the Norse spiker my uh, in, pro in process so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Give it another 
close-up of the uh, gun. I'm going to be enameling these engravings in uh, gold enamel. The uh, wolf is uh, on the Viking longships, how they had the uh, curved part on the bow that they uh, carved dragons and bears and wolves onto. I chose a wolf, a uh, slavering wolf with its tongue sticking out. Um, it connects on the bottom to the other one. So yeah, um, this is a pretty cool gun. It's got a uh, side scope mount right there. And uh, yeah, pretty pleased with it so far. So I'll keep you guys updated on it. Uh, I've been really busy with work and with family. But I really like the RPK Clubfoot stock. It's very comfortable length of pull. I like that I can... If I'm in prone, I can grab it here, but I just think it aesthetically looks really, really cool. So imagine this with a uh, side folding spiker on the front and uh, that gas tube cover that I showed you on top and a uh, sling. I'm going to be making a sling with a knot work pattern carved all over it. So yeah, that's the uh, Norse spiker so far. I'm really happy with the color of the wood and uh, pretty... I'm just happy with everything about this gun. It's got a good barrel, cold hammer forged, chrome lined, um, made in Romania at Coup Gear. And uh, again, I'm sorry about all the background noise. I can't help it. Um, cicadas are going nuts. Yeah, I will uh, talk to you guys later. I hope you're having a good day.